So if you've got a GH5 and you're fed up with the autofocus being like this, if you're lucky it finds focus, if you're not it doesn't. Is it going to find me again? Are you fed up with that? If you're fed up with that, this might be the video for you to watch because we can turn your GH5 from having autofocus like that to having autofocus like this with one click, one click and one switch. And the best bit is it ain't going to cost you a penny. Stay tuned and I'll show you what I'm doing. Shall we begin? What is it I'm doing that's making my uh, GH5 focus so much better? If I hold the box up, we get near instant acquisition and it comes back to me really quite nicely. Well, it all came about because I was testing lenses with my Viltrox adapter and you can hear the lenses actually trying to focus, they, they pulse, they click. And a few people have mentioned it in some of my other videos when I was doing autofocus tests about the noise from the actual um, the lenses. Well. As I was playing around with the focus on them, I started changing some of the settings and one of the settings I changed made a profound difference to the tone of the actual um, the noise coming from the lenses. Uh, so I mic'd one of the lenses up, it was this one, which is a 28 to 105 um, EF lens, the USM. I mic'd it up and I did some focus chest tests and I'll show you those now where we just ran up across a focus chart listening to the lens itself. And the thing that we noticed is instantly you changed your shutter angle from being a 180 degree shutter uh, down to 120, or if you're in 25p mode, if you went down to 150 um, degree shutter, the actual focus acquisition seemed to be a lot, lot quicker. And you'll see it on the screen, and I'll show you the charts, and you can hear the pickups as well, really quite clearly. So as you change the shutter angle, this focus acquisition seemed to be a lot, lot quicker. So without further ado, I'll show you the chart. It's, it's not really that bright and not clever what I've done, but um, you'll see how I've come to this um, result where the autofocus is a hell of a lot better than it could be or than it was. So let me show you the charts and I'll run through them with you and you'll be able to see the difference. Bear in mind this mainly works for 30p and 25p. They're the ones that have got the main benefit. 24p, no go. Um, no matter what I seem to do with the actual shutter angle on 24p, it could get no difference. It stayed at the same slow pulse rate. But uh, for 25p and 30p, it's a marked improvement. So let's have a look at the charts. So this is 4K, 8-bit, 25p, 180-degree shutter. Let's change it, that's 150-degree shutter. 4K, 25p, 150-degree shutter. Hundred and eighty degree shutter. There you go, straight away. Hundred and eighty degree shutter changes. So the sample rate is dictated to by the shutter angle. So 
180, 120. Four K twenty four P one hundred eighty degree shutter Let's now change our shutter angle to be in ninety. So obviously there's a caveat with this um, this video and that is I'm using adapted lenses only. I'd be interested to know uh, if any of you guys can try with a native lens and uh, see if you have any positive results with it. And if you do, please leave them in the comments below and uh, share this video to spread the word if it does help. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, just give it a thumbs down. And as always, um, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.